Show you the easiest way to cut round a window um, doing bathroom panelling. So uh, as you can see, so far I've got this first panel in and I'm, now I've come to a window. It's a hydro locking board, there's a locking point. Um, what you want to do is make sure that this one is kind of upright and level. Uh, makes it a bit easier for yourself. And the next thing you want to check is how level your reveal is. So this reveal is slightly out of level. So what I'm doing to start off with is getting a level up, nice and level like that. And a mark in there, putting a mark up there. Do the same on that side as well. If you're, if it is level, you're fine. You don't have to do this, but this one's not. So I'm just putting this where I want it and putting a couple of little marks here and there. There, there. Same up there. You can see there, 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 there. And then what I've done is I've transferred the lines over to my board. So I've got 130. Seven fifty. So I'll put that in there. I marked, marked it, marked it. Same down here, and then I'm doing the top. I know the top's level. It's going to be tight to the ceiling, so I'm measuring down off the ceiling. One seventy, the one seventy line. Same this side, and then off the ceiling again because you know that's going to be level down to your bottom line there, which is eleven four five, and then eleven four five. So and then you're gonna mark that all up. To get it all marked up, just like that, as you can see what I've done there. I don't know if that's in the shot or not, but. So there's the window, and that's all going to get cut out. I've already cut the width five mil into that trim. Always goes five mil in. Um, so I'm going to start cutting this out. You can do it depending on what saw you got. If you've got a skill saw, you probably want to transfer them lines to the other side. Um, it's just less likely to chip if you're doing it backwards. I'm going to do it with a plunge saw, so I'm just going to go for it like this. So yeah, I'm going to get that on the bench now and show you. So I've got it down on the bench now. Um, I've got my rail saw, got it plugged into the hoover because I'm inside in a flat again today on my own. So I've just cleared the whole room out. Customer's not here, so that's ideal. Just mark that all out, obviously, like you just saw. So I'm going to start cutting it out. You can use, obviously, a skill saw as well. Um, yeah, I've got a rail saw, so I'm obviously going to use that. If you, do, if you are using a skill saw, it might be worth, so you can get the strip lines super nice and straight, is literally maybe figuring out where the skill saw is going to be. But if I get one done. So yeah, literally clamp a bit of your level or something really straight on the line. And then when you cut, you know it's going to be perfectly straight then, rather than trying to do it, do it freehand. Makes it a bit easier, a nicer job. But yeah, so right, I'm gonna put So once that's a bit done, um, just obviously jigsaw these little last little corners off, or use a saw, a nice sharp saw. So I'm just going to saw it away. Double check it, get it in, check it's all level, and if it needs to be a little bit trimmed, we can do that. But fingers crossed, it goes right first time. 
There's some uh, dodgy lights in this room. It's flashing a little bit, so sorry about that. But I've got it back in the room now. I had to cut a little bit off that soil pipe down there. This is just stuck in place, just for my measurement for when I did cut this board originally, just to make it easier to stop it moving about. So I'll take that out in a second. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get this, put it in, check it's all right, and then get it stuck. So we'll see what happens. You need to get it good out. Yeah, get it like, get it up to where you want it. Give it a little wiggle. Wiggle, 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 little tap, little tap, and then I'm going to take this off of here, take that out of there, and then put that in after, like that. Check that as well. That's, that's good there, that's in there. That's all good there. I'm just going to kick that round a bit. In. It's easier to uh, just use an off cut board just to uh, slot that in if it's a bit tight. <coughs> That's in there. That's on there. That joint's quite good. It's still got the tape on it. This is just a dry run. And now I'm just going to check on the level. It's good. It's good. And that's good. Good. I always run it past the reveal a few mil. Let me show you. <laughs> it's quite, I've got quite a lot of uh, window frame showing here. So I didn't have to cut it tight to the reveal. And um, there's some old scratch lines and that there. So I pulled this over a little bit. We've got about a five, 10 mil gap there. And that should just stick on nicely. Same that size, it's an even gap all the way around. Obviously, Leaving that little bit there, five, five, ten mil, just means um, I've got a little play. So if the cut wasn't exactly level, I could just kind of, I've got a bit of play to uh, cut it again. Um, you see where I've cut with a saw on these ends here. They might just need a little bit of a clean up before we put the insides on. See that there? Yeah, so that's that. Um, so I'm going to pull that back out, peel a bit of this tape off. Silicon down that bead and stick her on. So I've got that one in now. Um, I think I lost a bit of footage there. I think I had it on slow mo. But yeah, it's in now. It's about five, 10 mil proud of the reveal. Um, they're quite big old frames, these, and they've got a few scratches on it. So I wanted to make sure my panel kind of hides some scratches. Same round there. Um, they need slightly altering. Just cut them back a little bit to get them level, but these are all good. These little bits up here, I'm gonna have to cut off. That's just where I sawed it before I put the um, the reveals on. But yeah, I'm gonna leave that like that for now. Panel this bit here, and then I'm gonna jump back on this bit, show you how we do with the reveals. Um, yeah, so here we go. So I've cut the first piece now. Right, so, so first of all, we cut your board. Just cut that proud a few mil, you can see that, probably about five mil proud. Just enough so I can get my trim in. So once that trim goes in there, just enough so I can get a nice little bead of silicone round, all the way around after. So yeah, I've cut that one. I'm gonna just carry on cutting them. And then hopefully, if they're all nice and tight, I'll cut them all get all the trims in, and then stick them all at the end. So we'll see how it goes. So the easiest way i found to um, scribe them in, obviously, is they're not always straight down the edges. So what I'll do is I'll cut it to width. So I get that in there like that. It's quite hard to do with one hand. You can see it's obviously a lot longer. And then obviously I cut it five mil. I'm gonna have to put that down. So I just cut it. I always never cut it flush, so just over, so I know that. Pencil line along there is going to give me the five mil that I need. So I'm going to cut that off and then that should just slot in there perfect. Just a few mil over and get that trim ready for that one and then cut them sides up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick the top one on there first. So I've checked it. I've cut the miters, 45. So I've filed them down a little bit so they're not too sharp. Um, 
got my board, so that's going to go on there, and then I'm going to stick that up there. So first, what you want to do is get your silicone bit clear. These are aluminium, by the way, trims. This one's called an end cap. What I personally use. Bit of silicone in there. And then just stick that on there like that. Give a little wiggle in there, so that's all nice. Nice, nice, nice. And then what I do is, I get my um, grab adhesive, put a few dabs on there, just like that. One there as well. And then what I do, this is where it can get messy, so um, just be careful. I use glue and activator. So I'll show you what I glue. I'm going to glue this metal trim on the edge to stick it up onto that. So it's going to go all the way along there. And then also what I'm going to do is put a little bit on this back edge just to stick it to that window frame and just to hold it in place nice and tight. So you've got your glue on there. Glue on there, glue on there, there, there. So then give it a bit of a shake and spray that up. Up. And then we should be good to go. You just gotta be so careful you don't get it on your fingers and then leave your fingerprints. And then should just stick on there like that. There we go. So that's it, that's the first one on there now. This one isn't stuck, I've just placed that in. So now that's up there, I'm gonna start working on these sides to make sure the angles are all nice and nice. So yes, right, let's start working on the sides. So the rest of them are all cut now, so I'm just gonna start sticking them. Get them all. Stuck, ready to go. Obviously, I've silk the silk glue the top one. That's not going anywhere. I'm just going to do this, get the sides all ready. Pop that off. Oh, no, that's going to fit. I stick that one on there. One's ready. This one off. And then the bottom one. So I'm probably not going to use as much soup glue on these. It's only mainly for that head. Uh, but I still will use a bit, so I'll show you where I'm going to put it. That off of there. Super glue in this bit here now. I'm literally just going to do this back edge so that can still slide where I want it when the trims are in, when the sides are in. I mean, so yeah, so uh, start with the bottom, a few dabs again, and then we get. Trusty glue and Aki. Just gonna put it on the back of this back edge, just so it goes nice and tight to the frame. Give it a little squirt. Carefully get it in. Just 
one in. So now, tap these again. Get the next piece of the jigsaw. Get your glue on the go. Glue the back edge again. So you don't really need it on here now, but I'll put a few dobs there. So it holds it in nice and tight. Nice and tight. Let's get this one in. Pop that off for a sec. In, that's that there, that's that one down. Right, so this last one now, same again, a few dabs, a little bit of glue. Send her own. Wipe off all the excess straight away with the silicone and stuff. And then yeah, that's it. So that is how we do round the window. And now all I've got to do is run a uh, thin bit of silicone all the way around once it's all complete. And obviously just silicone up these corners, corners and round the window frame itself. But yeah, it's come out all right. So now we're onto the door frame. But yeah, I hope you found that helpful. How to get round the window. So yeah, like I say, you can, instead of mitering these, you can just butt them, but obviously if you can miter, it's a little bit of a better finish. So yeah, cool, all right, door frame. So we're coming around to a door now. So I'm just gonna show you another way you can do it around the door as well. As you can see, I've taken off the architraves. Um, you can ditch the architraves and use a end cap to go around the door, but to be honest, I quite like the, um, the architraves I think it looks better with architraves rather than uh, yeah, finish it up to an architrave rather than putting an end cap on. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so the way I'm doing it on this one is I've literally drawn a line all the way around where the architrave was. Thereabouts, I've leveled it. I've made sure that sometimes the architrave isn't level. So I've leveled I made sure these are all level lines all the way around. Um, because obviously you've got a little bit of play on the architrave anyway. And I'll probably just cork them back in or I might even silicone back in and maybe paint them. I'm gonna have to paint the ceiling anyway. When they've done a rip out, it wasn't that pretty. So yeah, so first of all, get your level line all the way around. Um, also what I'll show you is as well, in this bathroom, obviously we've got this light, light gray panel in. And then when we go to the shower area, it's gonna be like a real dark slate gray. And obviously there's gonna be a join. We're gonna have a join there where it's from dark to light. And it's not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to tongue and groove it because I've started from around there. If I tongue and grooved it, it would end up over here. So it's gonna be a straight cut. I, what I could have done was, I could have started there, got the dark slate in first to that line. 
to that shower tray line there, dark grey to there, and then tongue grooved them and worked my way around that way. Um, because this tray isn't fixed in yet, it's got no waste on it. Um, I've literally popped that in, it's ready for the plumbers. Oh, I put that valve in as well, that's not, uh, got no pipes in it yet, but, because I couldn't crack on, because the tray's not finished, that's not done. All I could do was a light grey, so what I've done was started from here, work around this way, and I'm gonna put a straight butt joint right on the shower tray, about, I don't think you can see the line, yeah, there. So, and the, when the shower screen goes in, it's gonna hide all of that line, and the only line you're gonna see, the shower screen comes up to about here, so you're gonna see a straight butt joint from here to the ceiling, which we're gonna make sure looks pretty neat. So, yeah, it's a bit of a sneaky way of doing it, really. Um, if you do change colour and you've got to butt it, put one of your joints in behind the shower screen. Easiest way. What we've done around here as well, um, normally I would go full board, full board, and then carry on the off cut round to this side. But what I've done is I put the full board that side and put the, um, the off cut, you can't even really see it, can you? There is a join there. The off cut that side because we've got a unit going there. So it just made more sense to put the join behind the unit. Not that you really see them when you do them, when you can get them a lot right. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, that's that. I've drawn that round there. Now I'm gonna transfer them lines onto my panel and start cutting that and I'll show you how we do that as well. Nice. Yeah, cool. Yeah, you know that's all nice and square. So that's that mark up there, 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 there. Then you'll take that back into the old cutting studio. And then uh, get that marked up, drawn round and cut. Right, let's see what we get this in there. This is one of the fiddly bits, getting them in and out of the rooms. Me to you, to me, to you, to me, to you, to me. Obviously, you can do this, flip it the upside down, uh, the other way around, and cut it backwards. But uh, I don't really need to. It's quite it doesn't really chip that easy. This it's good stuff. Um, so yeah, it's not a new blade either. I've probably had that blade in there for about a month in the chops in my um, plunge saw. Gone for a few nails as well, but it's still not chipping. But I'll probably replace it on the next one. Yeah. So yeah, you can see my lines now all drawn out. It's gonna get a little bit fragile this when I cut it. You can see there's only a bit left there, a bit there, but being a multi-panel is quite strong, so you should be able to cope with it. Right, let's do it. Come on. Come on. Off cut, so I use this for boxing 
I went out the window as well. So get that right out the way for now. Rats, gonna cut a little bit off that corner for the shower tray. Then I'll get it in. I'll, I'll show you, I'm gonna do it live when I get it in the first attempt. So we shall see how, uh, how it goes. Here we go then, I'm gonna bring it in now then and see if we can uh see what happens. I've it's my dry run as well, so don't judge me if this doesn't fit the first time, but we shall see. We shall see. Bring the little dogs up away. Good. Yeah. So I've not shut a bit out the bottom there to get that in there. You can see my line. It's on the line there, on the line. All on that line, so. Get this one stuck in then. She's bowed. Someone's let these boards up. Instead of like laying them down flat or on their side, they've all been lent up way, upwards. Um, so that's why you can see that's like a banana at the moment. But once it's stuck, hopefully that'll hold it all back to where it should be. It's like a bloody banana. Right, let's put this back down then. Stick around. Have a look at the window. So, yeah. Oh, bloody banana she is. Let's get that back out of there. So, like, you can leave this tape on. Most of the time it's all right, but sometimes it might catch in that groove. So I'm taking it off. Take it off there. two guns if you're going for it. One for your silicon. So like I said before, on this front lip here, it's the tiniest little beads. Tiniest little bead all the way down. Ditch that one and then get some in. Got the shit out of it. Let me show. I probably got to go a little bit extra with this as a. Uh, like a banana, but there you get, we get it. We get it. They also do say you let the boards climatize, like you would with laminate flooring. Climatize for a couple of days in the room, or like in the same sort of atmosphere, so like a warmer environment. So we do try and do that. Try and get them to the job the day before. Bloody bananas! 
So I'm going to put a couple of little screws in that just to kind of wedge it back in place. Got a little gap there, so. Uh, just see if we can give it the old fashioned little tap. There we go. Nice. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So, yeah. Let's check the arc price. Let's have a little look at this. Double check. Yeah, so she go back on there lovely now. So yeah, that's that. This board is still a bit like a banana still, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try. Gonna try and pinch it in a little bit. I think I might have a stub there, I might not. Because it's gonna literally oh. lovely. So that's got that there. It's all good there, it's all good there. So yeah, sweet! So that is how you get around the door. Yeah, that's all good. That's how you get around the door. We're doing that joint there. So if I bring you over here, just got to clean that excess off in a minute. And then, yeah, so now I've got a straight joint. So when I start doing a shower, corner piece in there, get this board in, and it's gonna be butted up there. If it doesn't look too nice, I'll put a little bit of a chrome cap or cover up there to hide a join, but I'll show you that when I do it. See what you think. Right, nice one. So there we have it. I've just put the door frame back on just to show you. Um, so you can leave the, if it's too awkward to get that frame or uh, the architrave off, you can leave it on, but it's a lot easier if you can pop it off, if it comes off neatly. I had to take it off anyway, because that's plasterboard behind it, because it was um, got trashed in here when they took the tiles off. But yeah, so that's that bit done. So like I say, you can put an end cap, bring the uh, multi-panel to the end here and put an end cap on round it, round it rather than putting the architrave back on. But the architrave come off all right, so I just stuck it back on. So yeah, hope you found that bit helpful. Cool. Um, yeah, that could be the end of this video. So thanks for watching. I hope that um, you found it helpful. Um, I think, I'm thinking about putting my Instagram Linking that to my YouTube if anyone's interested in uh, following me. And I'll start doing some like, behind the scenes and some little videos, live videos here and there. So if anyone wants, does want to follow me on Instagram, it's George Everlast Smith. Um, I put a little screen print up now of, yeah, my profile. But I haven't done a lot on there yet. But if I get a few followers on there, I'll start doing some behind the scenes and stuff like that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Obviously, like and subscribe. Um, it's always good get some new subscribers and click here for the next video. That works, thanking you. Cheers.